I know, I know. But I just sat here and I watched you walk up and down these stands and uh, shake these fans' hands. And I just got to ask you, I mean, what do you think about the support that this team <laughs> got during this entire run? I mean, it's not just this entire run. They, they, they've been forever for years. I mean, they're the greatest fans in sports. Philadelphia sports fans are just fabulous. Other owners aren't like you. Uh, I know you won't say it because you won't toot your own horn, but I see you out here throwing souvenirs to fans and stuff. Mostly uh, what, baseballs. What, mostly baseballs. <laughs> what does it mean to you? Well, you know, I, you got to remember, I, I grew up here. Uh, I was born in Havertown. I, I was born into a two-bedroom house. It's not like I was born into money. Uh, you know, when I went to Connie Mack Stadium, I sat in the upper deck. Um, you know, so I remember what it was like to be a fan. And, and I just, I also just think about, like, what would, what would I have wanted when I was 10, 15, 20, 25 years old that would have been really cool for a sports owner to do? And then I just try to do with that. And if the fans react positively, which they have when I come out here and sit with them or throw balls after the games are over, they react positively. And it just reinforces to me that I need to be doing this for them. Disappointing final two games of the series. Uh, hor horribly disappointing. I mean, what would you see from your eyes? You know, I, look, sometimes you just get beaten. Um, their hitters hit our pitching better than our hitters hit their pitching. And it sounds kind of trite but it's true I mean, it's, it's that simple we got they got 11 hits this game we got 11 hits combining the last two games you can't with 11 hits in three runs over two games you can't it's hard to win it is hard to win that way um, do you ever talk to the guys when the season is over I'm not sure what your protocol is and if you do if you will what would you say tell them well, I was just in the locker room. Not everybody was there, but uh, I, went, I went around and I shook everybody's hand, thanked them. I mean, look, it was a very good year. Disappointing end, but a very, very good year. Um, and I just wanted them to know I appreciated their, their, their effort, and they tried hard. And look, at the end of the day, nobody can expect you to do more than try your very best. I mean, everybody's got the right to expect you to try your very best. Right. But, you know, I, these guys put it all out there. They got, you know, at that point, you never, you didn't fail that then. You just maybe didn't succeed. And there's a difference between that. Sometimes you watch baseball and you see teams win and you feel like it was a one-off. This team, it feels like the window is open. This, this Perfect feels Phillies, like, you mean? yeah, oh, yeah, no, no, I'm not talking about them. I'm not talking about the Diamondbacks, I, but it, I wasn't sure. Just yeah, to yeah, no, it, it feels like the window is open. Oh, yeah, I mean, what do you think about definitely. that? Definitely. I mean, look, you got, you know, Bryce is still in his prime and you've got lots of, you know, wheelers in his prime and you've got lots of young players coming up. Stott's fabulous. It's probably the best glove and a uh, second base glove in, in the National League. Maybe not in all of baseball. Mm -hmm. Tuve is really, really good. Right. But he's a great player. Bohm's really good. We got a good nucleus coming up. Uh, even in the minor leagues, we got in the upper levels, we got some good people. So I think it's I think it's exciting. I think we're going to have a really good run of five to ten years potentially. My last question. <laughs> I got there's a hair floating around somewhere. <laughs> all right. So my last question, because I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us on CBS. Um, Aaron Nola, man. Lifelong Philly. Yeah. We love him in this town. Yep. What are the chances that he's back in Philly's pinstripes? Well, we're going to make a, a really concerted effort to re-sign him. I mean, we like, we really like Aaron. We, not just for his pitching ability, which is really good, but for his person, you know, the character and that he brings it to, to the clubhouse and to the dugout. Um, he's, a, he's a really good human being to have on your team. So we're going to try really hard to sign him. Thank you so much for your time. Right, I appreciate you. you, man. Appreciate it. All thank right. Thank you very much.